Welcome back to the Syracuse Dynasty, everybody. My name is Legion, and we have two exciting ranked games against two interdivision foes, and this one's against FSU. Next game's against Clemson. Stick around as FSU is 6-0. And Clemson's 5-1 and in the conference, and we are undefeated with a 5-0 and record. We find out who goes to the conference title today as FSU starts out with the ball. DeAndre Francois finding his man. That's going to be Devontae Phillips starting out early here, getting down to the 16-yard line. And then Francois keeps it himself, going to run over a man. Harm with the stiff arm, breaks a tackle, and he's going to go down at the 30-yard line crazy filth on that 25 yard run as now Robinson play action quick dart to Dunkelberger and he is going to get decked at about the 34 yard line here as Syracuse is rolling down the field and then Robinson makes his first mistake in the afternoon interception by FSU do not make that mistake in this big of a game and now Francois going right back to his man that's going to be Lane down inside the 25 staying in his lane and making plays and now Francois on the speed option. Keep it. Why not? Reservations for six on that six-yard touchdown run. FSU is out to a 10-0 lead early. Syracuse needs to make something happen. And Leonard Robinson's got you covered. Pitching it out to Hank the Tank. Getting down to the 50-yard line here. Setting up another first down for Syracuse. And now Robinson, the fastest quarterback in college football. Unspied, untouched. And he's going to get down to the 30-yard line after 11 and an easy first down. Only Leonard Robinson can make that play. And now Robinson with a quick strike outside to big play. Irvin Phillips a candidate for returner of the year at this point. And now Lonnie Weber going up with that 6-5 frame. The freshman to freshman connection on display as he's got webs for hands and that's an easy Syracuse touchdown. As they cut FSU's lead to just three as Campbell goes down the sideline. Beautiful catch. Better footwork than a podiatrist on that play. And now Francois going to step up and run again because why not? He's faster than everybody. Slips a tackle. Harm with the stiff arm. And down at the two yard line. Francois 22 on the carry. Once again just filthy as Kerr goes in untouched like the dishes and FSU has a 10 point lead yet again now Robinson gonna fight for that pride of Vancouver Washington outright breaking ankles and he's down to the 30 yard line after a gain of 19 in Robinson out of the empty shotgun quick pass to Irvin Phillips they're going with quick passes early and it seems to be paying off for them as Robinson going back to work now gonna flow for Dunkelberger outside what a rainbow Send me to the end of the rainbow. There's a pot of gold and now Dungy in for a shaking up Robinson. And he's going to find Dunkelberger yet again. Coming up huge over the middle, outside, all over the place. And Syracuse makes it 17-14. to Now Robinson back in second half. He's going to find his man. That's Lonnie Weber down to the 40-yard line. And I'll tell you, this kid is special. What a game he had in this episode. Just stay and watch. He is really emerging as a true number one target as Dunkelberger picks up 12 more to add to his day. And now Robinson keeps it. Why not? With a move in Leonard Robinson. Nothing but green and orange men in front of him. Touchdown Syracuse 21 to 17. They take their first lead of the afternoon off of a Leonard Robinson keeper. And now FSU with the football back threatening in Syracuse territory. Not for long. Sacked for a loss of seven is Francois. They get to him when it matters, and that's going to end that FSU possession. Is Robinson with the read option yet again? That is working well, keeping it himself, going to shed a tackle, going right back to work with what works. 11 yards on the pickup, and now second down and 17 after a sack. He's going to find Lonnie Weber, who gets off the line inside the 20 and down inside the 10 yard line. First down and goal on a 58 yard catch, and now Hank the Tank wide open up the middle, sees his path to travel sees his path of destruction untouched like the dishes touchdown Syracuse as Francois on the offense takes back over and Francois going nowhere and that's going to be swatted down by Antoine Cordia Syracuse trying to hold on to a two possession lead but they play cover three and Francois making them pay it's Devontae Phillips he had that catch earlier and he has a 33 yard reception here but Syracuse's defense on fourth down and four coming up big as Francois goes outside the lane and lane is absolutely up ended that game is all but over but why not tack on another touchdown for FSU to cut the stats a little bit going to find Devontae Phillips in the corner of the end zone 19 yards and this one is over Leonard Robinson 14 for 21 188 14 carries 36 yards two touchdowns player of the game 
for sure. And he had a pretty good game as Syracuse winning against number three Florida State in very, very consistent fashion throwing short passes, and that is exactly what worked for them today. Against a foe like FSU, don't get too complicated. Just go out there, gain positive yardage, and trust your defense to get stops. That was an exciting game for sure, but we have another difficult one against Clemson in Clemson Memorial Stadium in Death Valley as Clemson takes on Syracuse. Number 14 versus number 23. This determines who faces Virginia Tech in the ACC championship game as it starts early with Deshaun Watson going absolutely nowhere. That is the story of this game. Going nowhere on the rushing end, but Watson, what an arm. That's going to be Garrett Williams getting one down. Better footwork than a podiatrist, and Clemson goes up tempo, and they score nothing on that drive, but going to Steve Ishmael early as Robinson with a big play there. They're looking for those intermediate passes as Robinson goes outside to Lonnie Weber, who had a big game last week, as you guys saw, looking to continue that trend here as Robinson giving to Hank Ball the read option. They love it. They live for it. Seven yards for Hank the Tank, and now Robinson giving it right back to the freshman, the freshman to freshman connection is at full force here everybody as Robinson play action to the back of the end zone and Dunkelberger catching everybody off guard and that is exactly how they're going to win this game if they do win this game keep Clemson's defense on the field and keep them fooled as Watson goes down that's large Picard there breaking through the line giving his good friend to Sean Watson a nice friendly bear hug as Wayne Gallman goes backwards loss of three Syracuse's defense flying early here as Robinson rolling out, going to find his man. That's a wide open Trey Dunkel burger, my favorite burger joint for sure, and it sure is Leonard Robinson's as well. As he breaks through, here's the strong eye formation. Robinson rolling to his right, outrunning everybody, and he's going to just run for the first down here past the 30 yard line, gain of 12. Now out of the strong eye here, Robinson play action. This is a play they run often and nobody understands it. And Dunkelberger gets down to the seven yard line. That play is unstoppable. And now leave it into the hands of Hank the Tank to give Syracuse an early 14-0 lead here on the road in Death Valley. Clemson now trying to respond, drops back Watson. He's going to find his man. That's Eric Harvey, 53 yards downfield. Harvey out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Big spark for Clemson. If they're going to get back into this game, they need more of those plays. Play action, Watson getting another one. There's Eric Harvey on the receiving end. First down. Now on third down and goal. Last chance. Watson fires, and it's going to be dropped by Hunter Renfro. Cannot hang on. Did not apply the glue to his gloves this morning. And Syracuse gets a lucky break there as they hang on to an 11-point lead. And here's Leonard Robinson opening the door for another Syracuse opportunity here, but they cannot do anything with that. And here's Wayne Gallman getting going with a gain of 12 on the ground. And now out of the pistol, Watson play action, breaking another cover three. And Deion Kane makes a 37 yard laying out catch there. Now Watson keeping it himself, why not? And he's got reservations for six. As he brings Clemson back, 10 unanswered so far. And Syracuse is in a tight spot here. If anyone's going to get him out of it, it's Leonard Robinson as he finds Steve Ishmael downfield. The mail with Steve Ishmael picks up 23. 11 for 14 for Robinson so far. And now make that 12 for 15. Lonnie Weber with another remarkable catch in traffic, making all the plays the freshman to freshman connection. Now Hank Ball first down down to the seven yard line first down and goal for Syracuse now and they will make no mistakes giving it to Dante Strickland who powers into the end zone for Hank Ball and it's a touchdown for Strickland the backup running back as he extends Syracuse's lead to 21 to 10 and now Gallman breaking tackles and he's going to break away for a gain of 31 on the ground going to get wrapped up by Franklin finally but that is more momentum for Clemson now as Deshaun Watson comes out it's a triple option look here Watson keeping it himself and it's a touchdown saving tackle by Whitner what an effort there but you know it's not going to matter as Watson going to find Deion Kane for a two yard touchdown reception catching everybody off guard throwing slants on the goal line like the Seattle Seahawks and Clemson has cut the Syracuse lead to just four points now as Robinson off his back foot across his body to Hank Ball who picks up 
the first down and more down to the 32 yard line. A few plays later, actually the next play, Robinson finding Trey Dunkelberger inside the 50 yard line down to the 46 yard line, 21 on the catch for your favorite juiciest hamburger. And now Robinson dropping back way too far back, but he's gonna let it fly for Ishmael, the male, the prayer in a beautiful touch pass down to the 27 yard line. And now first down and 10, Robinson leading an impressive drive here. It's Sean Riley down inside the five yard line as Robinson is absolutely rolling. And now rolling like a car without brakes. Robinson can't stop. Touchdown for Syracuse, extending it to 28 to 17 with just 32 seconds left in the half. They start with the ball at halftime here, giving it to Hank Ball. And he's gonna power forward for a gain of 10 on his first carry of the half here. And now Robinson going to keep it himself. Make a move inside. That was nasty. Breaking ankles like Gordon Hayward down after a gain of 12. And now Robinson. Third down and nine. Can he extend this drive? Finds Lonnie Weber. He does indeed do just that. Lonnie Weber just athletic enough to keep up with these Clemson defenders. And here is an absolute bomb like World War II. Clay Austin. 50 yards for the touchdown in Syracuse's offense is absolutely on fire. Robinson is 18 for 22 on the day. He has been the MVP of this game by far. Reminds me of when Johnny Manziel beat Alabama. But of course, Leonard Robinson is not like that as Syracuse forces yet another stop here. And now Robinson out of the single back. Rolling to his right a little bit like Johnny Manziel and he's going to pick up the first down inside the 30. And they are looking for more on this drive, of course, as they have all day. Ishmael with the big play on the curl route. They have gone to those frequently today. And now Watson out of the pistol. Giving it to Wayne Gallman, who finds some daylight down to the 40-yard line. Not into Syracuse territory yet. And now Watson standing in the pocket. All time in the world. He can do whatever he wants back there. But finally wrapped up and brought down by big Chris Slayton, actually Caden Samuels, excuse me, as Robinson, the offense, take back over up 15 as Lonnie Weber on second and 20 picks up 18, and that's been the story of today as Robinson keeping it himself. He's got some room, but he is tripped up by the shoelaces after a gain of 16. And it will continue to switch up the play calling as they give it to Hank Ball here after a gain of 11, he is brought down and this Syracuse play calling has been impressive today as Robinson giving it to Strickland on the slash and he gets a block and gets into the end zone for a touchdown. Dante Strickland 42 to 20 with 635 left. I think it's fair to say that this one is all but over as he gets an absolute crater and Syracuse's run blocking has been on point today as Deshaun Watson with another chance here finding his tight end Williams getting mean up the seam here. Now on fourth and six Watson once again under limited pressure he finds Ray Ray who hits the nay nay Ray Ray McLeod the third into the end zone for a seven yard touchdown two point conversion makes us 28 to 42 and Dante Strickland does the rest here as Syracuse looks to drain the clock and put their self into the ACC championship game for the first time in a while as they find Dunkelberger down to the 44 yard line and with optimistic championship dreams Robinson keeps it himself and he's going to take it all the way down to the 25 yard line showing that he is the fastest quarterback in college football and a pain in the ass to game plan against and speaking of pains in the ass how about this missed kick the score remains the same but Syracuse has drained the clock down as there is only a minute 45 and ticking left here in the fourth quarter and an interception is going to seal the deal. It's Montrell Hudson making the big, big play as Syracuse comes away with the victory here. Robinson over 400 all-purpose yards with only four incompletions is no doubt the player of the game and the future of the dynasty for Syracuse. What a game. Syracuse putting together their most complete performance of the season, showing that they should be number 14 in the country after their only loss of the regular season was against the number one ranked Washington Huskies by 10 points, and it was closer than that for most of the game. Great performances by Lonnie Weber, Leonard Robinson, and Hank Ball, this freshman trio, all three of them have a lot to be optimistic for going forward as they have been the focal points of this rebuild. I am very happy to say that I have propelled this team in the ACC championship 
who we will play against. We will get into that later as we get a core a safety commit from Ross Fowler this week and a safety commit from the very, very talented Brandon Jackson. I'm very excited about that. Now, who are we playing in the title game? We are playing Virginia Tech, everybody. Get out the hype for the next episode of this Dynasty series as we are playing a two-loss Virginia Tech team that is among the six two-loss teams ranked above us in the standings. And we have wins over the likes of Florida State, Clemson, and a very close game against Washington, who is our only loss. Nonetheless, everybody, Virginia Tech next week. I'm excited. I'll catch you guys later.